Hello, this is video number 5 of summarizing my book, The Next Level Observer Effect. In last video, we talked about uh, the science of evidence. We talked about symmetry and non-symmetry uh, of our universe. So basically, the science of evidence teaches you to ask the right questions. And to ask the right questions is about asking the symmetry, uh, the, I mean, asking the right evidence. So when uh, there is always two things and there are always two things called symmetry training evidence and non symmetry training evidence and what evidence we are uh, asking for is what you know what evidence to ask for is what the science of evidence teaches us so we talked about the non symmetry training evidence we talked about symmetry training evidence and of course as i uh, say as i say you know the symmetry training process when you talk about i'm not talk, i'm talking about the symmetry training process so a symmetry training process is just same thing and as non symmetry training process because symmetry training process is nothing but uh, an infinitesimal uh, arrangement of non symmetry training processes itself so it's very, it's really important to ask about the right evidence you know and this is what the science of evidence teaches us so the uh when I, now one might ask now you know that what if we conduct non symmetry ending evidence uh i mean non symmetry ending process sorry in the symmetry ending universe now what will happen if you yeah so conducting non symmetry ending process in the symmetry ending universe will disturb everything now let me tell you why now imagine a glass castle a glass castle made up of like a uh, hundred glasses something like that now just get a glass and from the middle of the glass uh, castle and just get one glass out and we break the entire castle so our universe point to point everywhere it works like that where the every process has to be carried in a symmetry training way now carrying now anywhere in the universe when non-symmetry or high non-symmetry is initiated the entire symmetry ending the universe itself you know uh will break down so for example let's say now there let's ask for some non symmetry tending evidence let's say here now let's say if you ask me right here to produce a uh let's say a mango seed right here with a snap now if i do it right now here what i will be requiring now is that i will be requiring let's say virtual particles now there is a limit on how how the how much the virtual particle can particles can last so at tiny level of quantum you know a tiny quantum level you know i mean that quantum level you know there are virtual particles which come out in and out of the existence now if we allow this with the macro size particles then i can just grab a virtual mango seed right here and show it to you now this is how the simplest way to do that well now but that does not that is not allowed at all in physics you know I mean, there is only tiny. This only can be. Ha, ha, this is only allowed, you know, in case of tiny particles. So, this is not allowed in physics. Now, but you know, uh, this is the non-symmetry tending evidence. Now, this is what we need. And if universe had an another choice where it could have allow allowed this thing, you know, like, uh, I mean, why just is it limited to the tiny part, virtual tiny particles? It is the assumption i mean this is how the universe has created itself as i said the universe has been presuming a value it has been maintaining some values it has been maintaining the laws the laws at which the fundamental laws at which the universe itself we call as work be working you know these laws are actually presumed by the universe so let's say for example the value of the permittivity constant of the universe one of the fundamental constants of our universe now the value is maintained in a particular way each and every second the value is maintained it's just not like that as i said that just you just created the bing bang and the entire process is automatic no it happens every single second it has to happen every single second so the universe could have created itself in a way that it had allowed the creation of a mango seed or a macro size objects just like virtual particles come into existence at the tiny quantum level like from zero from nothing to something and then again return to nothing and I can, I could have created the, uh, you know, mango seed in front of you and just uh, prove it to you that how non symmetric I mean, yeah. So th this is the way I, uh, the uh, I could have done that. But no, this universe is symmetry tending universe. Uh, I mean, symmetry tending universe. It does everything. It carries out everything with highest symmetry. Now, 
we just don't require anything more than few few sets of laws you know but this universe have specific you know laws that it has to work that way it has to work this way even when you talk about the symmetry of the universe the universe tends towards symmetry it does carries out everything with higher symmetry now even there is a level for how much symmetry is allowed to carry on even there is a limit for that now anyways so we just there is nothing special in creating the non symmetry ending evidence because the very fact that the universe is the way it is is nothing but the ar arrangement of infinite symmetry non symmetry ending processes itself so it's the same thing uh anyways so when you talk about yeah it just uh, doesn't need anything so but now when you talk about the symmetry tending evidence and i can now create a universe for i can create a big bang then i can create a as i said uh, star systems i can create different planets and uh, biology then trees then mango and then man uh, mango seed this is symmetry symmetry tending process this symmetry tending process all we know is yeah we are very familiar with the symmetry tending process so to ask what evidence you know like you can't ask you can't really ask for non symmetry tending evidence in this universe because if you do it no problem no problem there's totally no problem for with that but if you do it then you have to de destroy the entire universe for it so any change i will make here any non symmetry tending uh, change uh, i will make here at this point of this universe it has to ripple off to the entire universe so yeah so the to ask the right evidence is what and firstly as i said the symmetry tending process is nothing but an infinite symmetry arrangement of the i mean the arrangement of infinite symmetry uh, non symmetry tending evidence in itself such as that the symmetry is itself the non symmetry tending process it's nothing more than just the same thing i mean so one must understand this and ask the right evidence for any proof one wants and this is what the science of evidence teaches us now so now let's talk about the observer effect so observer effect dates back around like in mid you know 20th century when the quantum revolution was going on and the werner heisenberg got us the heisenberg uncertainty principle which basically says that if you try to measure the position of a particle uh, then is when you mess with its momentum and you try to measure the momentum and then you mess with its position yeah and there was a conversation going between einstein and bohr niels bohr about a thought experiment you know like if you had few electrons and when you uh, you are watching uh, them you know through a microscope and when you shine a light on those electron now then is when uh, the electron will reflect the light you know and then is when you can know the position of those electrons but now due to uh, the fact that you're shining light on those electrons you know uh, you actually mess with the momentum so even if you're uh, knowing the position you're actually messing with the momentum of those electron and uh, now let's say you switch off the lights and uh, you know the momentum of electron precisely but now you don't know what the position of the electron is so and uh, on the based on that it just uh, coin like observer effect like observe a thing observing a particular thing changes its state you know and that the term observer effect provoked people like looking at it as like something related to observer something related to humans and that actually got a completely new subject that actually also deals with the quantum physics but only the intelligent i mean the scientifically educated people know about how to interpret it correctly and the intelligent people know how to interpret it correctly those who can't interpret it correctly they actually looking it very wildly they look at like uh, look at like like when you when a human looks at a particular thing it has to change like magic or something like that well it's nothing like that but an intelligent knows like how to look at this observer effect you know although the observer effect this two observer effect the original one which was uh, um, got from the einstein bohr debate is totally different from i mean it's different from this uh, other observer effect which got a totally new subject you know but yeah this subject you know when we uh, hear from intelligent people 
uh, how this subject how this observer effect works and all that it actually makes a lot of sense so we'll be talking about it uh, in the next video there we go yeah so this is how the observer effect as yes, you know was interpreted now many people mistook it now people actually started looking at it as like whether they are started asking the questions like they started thinking that a human observation is going to make a non symmetry tending change now there came a lot of questions like whether the moon is there if nobody looks and yeah so someone just uh, uh, just the this is a metaphor you know this is a metaphor we'll talk about in detail about that well people started looking at it in a like the human observation is a thing that when you just look at particular thing you just change its state but this is not quite true the universe still work the way it is the moon is still there so what exactly the observer effect is is this just a uh, something stupid i mean this is just uh, the einstein boris was talking were talking about something which is very obvious you know which uh, has to happen due to underlying law of the heisenberg uncertainty principle now what it has to do like a human observation a human and observer looks at a particular thing and changes it gives a non symmetry tending change what it has to do with that it does not make sense uh, it does not make sense until you understand the meaning behind that metaphor now intelligent people you know started thinking about it that okay you know they just scaled up the things they just scaled up the things now what they started is this not just the human observation now they took the observation of the observed effect completely differently uh, completely different you know now here the new observation is nothing but a uh, something per a purpose of the universe that is related to human being so it'd be like a human uh, conducting the purpose of the universe now uh, in the earlier videos we talked about the cause you know the creation and the cause of now they uh, you know they started to think about that so instead of saying that looking at a particular thing changes it now the intelligent people start asking the question that under the cause of observers the universe is the way it is and whatever happens if the moon is there it has uh, to be under the cause of observers if anything is happening in the world whatever if dinosaurs died it has to be under the cause of observers anything anything so that exactly what the observation is now when we talk about the observation when you it's not that when we actually look at the things by our eyes then the wave collapses into uh, i mean the quantum wave collapses into particle no it behaves as a particle in few events and as a wave in other it's so the looking at the things and just changing it changing its state is just a metaphor used for creation the cause of so intelligent do understand it but people who just misunderstand it they just misunderstand it very wildly it, they look it at they look at it as a magic yeah they think that you just human looks at a particular thing and then is when things going to change in a non symmetric tending way it's going to make magic you know no the universe just behave the way it is the physics is conserved okay nothing non symmetric tending has been occurring here I mean, when I mean non-symmetric tending evidence are working are, are occurring as uh, symmetric tending processes. I'm sorry. I mean non-symmetric uh, processes. Now we have evidences processes. It's a lot of confusion. Okay, so uh, as I said, the symmetric tending process is something made up, which is made up of infinite symmetric non-symmetric tending but itself. That's not thing. But when you talk about looking at the things and actually changing it in it at macro level, it is something which is very high non-symmetric tending, which the universe will not allow. the universe see you can do anything in this universe you can do literally anything you can create anything there's no uh, law you know uh, that saying that you can't create this you can create anything but you have to do so performing the highest symmetry now 
let's say there are two examples flying like a superman and uh, flying uh, creating an airplane and then fly well the flying like a superman is more like non stimulate tending process but now creating an airplane and then fly is something what stimulate tending process works it's it's, a, it's stimulate tending process so this is the difference between non stimulate tending and stimulate tending processes process you know and yeah so intelligent people actually look that way that the universe is the way it is just under the cause of the observer so the act of observing the things is a metaphor used for that that the universe has some relation with the humans and the relation being that the universe everything whatever the thing is if the moon is there when nobody looks that does mean that if the moon is there i mean moon ha has to be there because it is it has formed under the cause of observers so this is how the intelligent people looked at the observer effect and they pretty much they understood it well but many people just misunderstand it creating thinking like we are actually take i mean actually the non stimulate tending uh, actions or magic is taking place no that is not how it works the observer effect you know it's a metaphor used you have to understand what is a metaphor and what is metaphor what is metaphor and what is how to you should not take it literally right you can you going to land at the bizarre conclusions when you going to do that so this is how many people get fooled the observer effect in quantum physics was related to about or uh, uh, how electrons uh, just uh, as i just explained you know when you shine light on it how, how it messes with its position and momentum how and how can how can't you simultaneously measure both of these quantities it's all it was all about that but when you bring it at a macro scale you know then this is very intelligent people know how to relate the things what is the creation the cause of and yeah so it's all on that so uh, this is just for today's video uh, in next video we'll be talking about more of this or more about this observer effect and about my book like uh, what it has to do with observer effect and why i chosen the observer effect you know what it does actually talks about the observer effect and more in detail about that some you know guys it's next year observer effect talks on more about observer effect but what more what more in of the observer effect we'll be discussing that in next video and yeah so we'll be discussing a lot about that and again science of evidence non symmetric uh, crea tending creation and symmetry tending creation and many things like that so i hope you enjoy these videos and of course as i say if you finding this content tough please my book is available on amazon and various marketplaces worldwide just go and buy it guys it is the lot of detail is there out in my book you know i have spent a lot of it's like one year, since one year i'm writing this book so i have given a, a ample amount of time there explaining every single thing in detail so just go and check it out you know the next law observer effect book it's all on amazon and various marketplaces worldwide